Hi there, Halu here. Monday, March 18th, 2024. While I was working from home, my dad knocked twice on my door and delivered me some in and out Eating a burger in the morning wasn't ideal, but I'm not gonna say no to in and out Later that night, my parents were out and I was feeling a bit lazy. So I conjured up this noodle soup with Chinese sausage, tofu skin, and fried eggs. I also steamed a batch of shumai and topped it off with some Ma chili oil. Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. I didn't have food to bring for lunch today, so my coworker and I got pho instead. My mouth is drooling as I'm editing this together. It was so good. At work, one of our customers brought us some pressed juice. Although I'm not crazy about spending seven to eight dollars on juices, they taste so much healthier when they're free. Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Woke up for the gym this morning and did my usual routine. Hello and good afternoon. Oh, what the? <laughs> Hello and good afternoon. It is lunchtime and I am starving. It's a little weird that for the first time I'm not recording with like a screen being shown. I'm watching, I'm looking at the back of my camera and I guess it makes me a little less self-conscious on how I look. By the way, if you didn't know, I hate mirrors. My girlfriend knows this because she's been trying to convince me to get a mirror in my room since forever, but I don't like mirrors. I don't like mirrors. I don't like staring at myself. I don't really look in the mirror for very long. It's just like, I don't care to look at myself for a long time. Why do I need to look at myself? I can just walk into the restroom. I'm looking at the back of my camera. I'm, I'm, what I'm just like a little paranoid about is if I'm not recording. When I hit record, I turn it around, I put it on the mount and like, it's not recording. That's what I'm fearful of. I don't really care about how I look. But um, yeah, today I have some of the curry from last night and some snap peas. Our snap peas, our <laughs> Snap peas. Are, are snap peas green beans? Are snap peas green beans? Because like, what are green beans and what are snap peas? I realize that if you don't create a sense of like urgency, like, oh, I gotta go home so I could do these other things or like, ah, oh, I'm wasting my time here. And, and like you start overthinking and you're like, ah, oh, you know, there's better things I could do out there. If you don't think that way, work goes by pretty quickly. You just kind of do what you got to do and then suddenly it's time to go home, which is great. Like, I, I just need to like tone down on like the whole, oh, I'd rather be editing or I'd rather be working on 3D or I'd rather be going to the gym. You just, I just have to tone down on all that stuff and be like, I'm at work. I'm stuck here till the day ends. And once the day ends, I have as much free time as I give myself until I have to come back. So I just got to tone down on trying to be elsewhere when I'm at work. And I think that everything will go my way. Um, but yeah, as for now, I'm just gonna eat some lunch. And then after work, probably gonna go home, start a draft on the latest vlog or catching up on my vlogs as I've been talking about. And then uh, if there's any time that permits, play some Elden Ring. Cause now that I'm like doing the quest and I'm like understanding the gameplay, it's pretty damn fun. I'm like thinking about it, you know? But uh, as for now, let's get to lunch. Peace. For dinner, my mom prepared an assortment of ingredients for R-Y-O-S, roll your own spring roll. We had lettuce, rice noodles, cucumbers, shrimp, and chashu. Look at that meat glisten. Good morning, it is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Got up this morning and I put together a draft for my vlog of last February's 19th to the 25th. So that was like pretty much a month ago. Um, I didn't do anything last night because we were watching, uh, me and my girlfriend were watching Quiet on Set, Dark Side of Kids TV. And damn, to be part of that era of like kids television, you know, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, uh, all that. I wasn't part of the all that. I don't think I had cable at that time, but uh, not that, yeah, I would say Drake and Josh, like 2005 is when I got um, DirecTV back then. 
and like the first thing I turned on was Drake and Josh. I remember being in my living room and just being like, oh, Nickelodeon, and putting it on, and it was on. And I was watching then, I was so excited back then. But to hear what child actors had to go through, especially Drake, prior to filming Drake and Josh, prior to that production, horrendous, absolutely horrible. And just the industry members having supported the abuser is really just a prime example of how corrupted the entertainment industry is. And, and I bet any industry is probably this corrupted because at the end of the day, it's money over everything. It's money over reputation, it's power, it's money. And these are the true factors that really influence whether normal day-to-day -day people become or don't become who they desire to be. And, you know, that just really encourages myself to become more of an indie artist in terms of if... I wanted to be part of something bigger, I would have to create it. Because it seems to be like, you know, one, it's hard to get your foot in the door and break through into the room that you want to be in. And second, the people that you are working with who have all the power are probably not the best people to be around to begin with. I mean, depending on every, like, place that you go or whatever industry you get into, right? But I'm sure uh, anyone at the top is going to be somewhat corrupt and make it difficult for someone to get the chance to even do something. And, and when you do get the chance, they have you by the neck and you're just able, they're able to ma manipulate you and, and turn you into a rag doll to become what you think you want to be, but mostly what they want you to be. So, give that documentary a watch, it's on Max. It was a tough watch for my girlfriend, but for me, it was just more of an eye-opening realization of a lot of things. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we watched the last two episodes of that last night, and it was like 9.30 at that time, and I was like, all right, well, I gotta go to bed. So I got ready for bed and then, uh, yeah, I woke up early this morning, put together that draft of the vlog and it's not too long. It's not, it's not too, uh, detailed or too uh, intricate. So that should be coming out maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, because yeah, it's not too much. I already wrote the, the script for it and I just got to narrate it and put it together, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, cause it's mostly me talking to the camera and if I'm talking to the camera, I don't got to do voiceovers. So. That should be coming out pretty soon. Expect that on the channel. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna be heading to work today. Pretty normal day, normal Thursday. It is gloomy again. I don't think California knows whether to act sad or happy. I think California is like a lot of us out here. <laughs> but um, yeah, normal day at work. I got my lunch, so I'll see you guys then. Uh, yeah, gonna have to work. Peace. Yes, it is finally lunchtime. I was, I keep looking down because I don't have a screen anymore and I feel like don't want to show where I work. <laughs> but, um, yeah, cover my look. You guys might have seen it in previous videos um, where I was too lazy to blur it out, but I don't want you guys to know where I work. Anyways, uh, it is finally lunchtime. I'm starving because all I had this morning was a croissant and uh, some eggs. And like, usually in the morning I'll eat like some rice and eggs and you know, with rice I'm a little bit more full. But I only had a small piece of tiny butter croissant and it was, yeah, I was kind of hungry throughout work. Anyways, it is lunch time and I've got yesterday's curry or two days ago's curry. I'm kind of over this curry, but you know, it's food and 
Sometimes when you want to eat free food made by your parents, there's no choosing. There's no picking and choosing. You just got to eat what, what they give you or what's cooked. I'm not complaining though. It's good. I'm just kind of over it. Um, anyways, uh, work's been chill. Actually got pretty busy throughout the entire morning. But um, yeah, uh, I had a meeting, quick meeting just before this with my um, other employer. And for some reason, I always get like anxiety just to just speaking or having to think about having this meeting and usually nothing goes wrong um, maybe I have a little PTSD from before I don't know but I always feel guilty I always feel like I have done something wrong or that I messed up on something or something that I did any any things that I did like tarnished their name uh, tarnish their company and like I rarely it rarely happens it rarely 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 happens and and, and it did happen in the past and, and it was like not even then entirely my fault but even so I just like get anxiety like having meetings with my employers it's just like it's kind of scary and maybe I'm not used to the whole like client, freelancer, or, you know, employee, employer kind of talks. Um, but I just get like mad anxiety asking for things or talking about things. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea what it is. And I don't like it. Uh, it, it has like, it kind of like affects me throughout the day where I'm like, uh, you know, had the meeting, everything was cool, no problems there. Um, and now that it's over, it's a lot more relieving. Um, but man, it's like a weekly thing, and uh, I just get nervous. I just get nervous, like working for someone or under someone, and like my work affects their reputation or name. Like, I don't ever want to. Uh, do harm to anyone's business, right? And I think that if I ever do become a boss, I will make it very open and clear that if you screw up, if you make a mistake, no matter how big of it it is, I will let you know that you screwed up, but I won't ever make you feel bad for it, you know? I will, I will help you find solution to your, you know, your problem. Um, but like, I don't think anyone in the past has done that for me where I, I like screw up on something and they're like, oh, you know, it's fine. This is how you're going to fix it. I've always been yelled at by, you know, previous employers. Um, and I guess that kind of just scares me because you hate to work for someone or you hate to like do something for someone and do it incorrectly or at least not the way that they want to. And then like they just scream at you or they just like say how bad it is and without really offering any solution. And that's like, it sucks. It sucks to be on the, uh, the opposing side of that. And I never wish to harm or invoke those kind of feelings in somebody else because it just feels terrible. It just feels terrible knowing that you f***ed up someone else's work so yeah I don't know maybe I have some PTSD or something but now that's over and I'm relieved and I'm gonna eat my lunch and I'm gonna talk to my girlfriend and it's gonna be a good rest of the week so yeah working towards putting a lot of my life together at this time and uh, happy to do it so yeah catch you guys later for dinner I made a little chassis pork rice bowl topped off with a fried egg Anytime I sort of make rice bowls, I just need to add an egg on top, like a cherry on top of a cake. Although, I've actually never seen cherries on cakes. And for an appetizer, I steamed some dumplings, also paired with some Laogan Ma XO chili oil. Good morning, it is March 22nd on a beautiful, gloomy, and Friday morning. I actually did all this earlier because I uh, went to the gym today and I was recording and you know, 
this phone ain't it. This phone ain't it when it comes to vlogging, when it comes to recording, when, oh man. I don't feel bad that I bought an iPhone 15 Pro Max, but man, it is a steep, not that user-friendly phone. It is a, it is a expensive, not that user-friendly phone. And people can complain and say like, oh, Android's not that user-friendly. iOS is more user, yeah. It's just all preference at the end of the, at the end of the day. It is all preference. But in my past week of using this iPhone, man, there's just so much that you can't do. And I'm not saying Android does better. I'm saying the Z Flip does amazingly. The cover screen, being able to record in, you know, full on HD, um, being able to see myself with that recording, um, being able to wide angle and just, you know, cause I love this like wide angle lens. I hate it when it's all up in my face and flat. That's not a very appealing perspective to me. And so after the gym, I did what I usually do, which is record myself, talk about going to the gym. And I made sure, I made a hundred percent sure that it was recording, that it was, you know, uh, I put it on the right place. I put it like perfectly straight because I can't see. I have to put the, I have to put the phone facing um, outward. So I, so I'm looking at the back of my phone, and I talk for like good five minutes, and then I look at it. And I only recorded six seconds. So I'm like, God damn it, dude. So I took my Z Flip out of the box, put it on, put on a new case that I was saving for it and um, just put it back on and <laughs> I love this experience. It is just so much more user friendly. I can see myself and yeah, yesterday I talked about like the whole looking at myself and whatever. So, it's a lot better. It's a lot better to be able to see myself, know what I'm recording, know that it is recording and it is just a immensely better experience to have when I am vlogging or you know trying to capture some footage. The only downside is my phone is broken. The inside of it is like, the coloring is all messed up and whatever. So I'm gonna go send it into a repair and I'm gonna go do some research on if I can return an iPhone. I'm likely going to keep the phone because the phone is great. The iPhone is great. The, the gaming experience is amazing. The battery life is amazing. Um, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot nicer and easier to talk to my girlfriend through FaceTime for her and you know, when you're a guy, you just do things for your girl. <laughs> but um, man, for my own experience, like this phone is it. This phone is amazing. But yeah, it's a great experience. <laughs> um, and I really do enjoy this phone and I wanna get it repaired and probably just use it as a vlogging phone. But I'm gonna do my research and see if the iPhone can be returned for a full refund. If not, I'll keep it, it's fine, whatever. I made that choice. Um, but I'm definitely gonna continue using my Z Flip as a vlogging camera. To recap this morning, went to the gym, did legs today, and I uh, felt pretty good because uh, I haven't been doing legs in a while. It's like out of my cycle at the gym. So hitting it again was uh, very good. I always imagine myself like, on the leg press like pushing over like a 300 pound guy just like with all my might and like being able to tip over a 300 pound dude feels pretty amazing no violence intended um, but did legs today I was a little scared to go in the sauna because like I did I did make an attempt but then like the bigger sauna was uh, the bigger sauna was like under repairs and like the infrared saunas there's like a bunch of staff kind of standing around there, so I was a little bit like scared and I used my friend's code because I don't pay for the premium membership. So, um, yeah, I was a little scared, so I just walked on the treadmill a little bit afterwards. Um, but felt pretty good. Uh, it's nice to work on legs again. I'll probably be super sore in the next couple of days, like walking like a noodle, going upstairs and stuff. Um, but uh, today should be a pretty good day. I like it when it's colder. I like it when it's a little bit gloomy. It makes uh, less foot traffic to go around. And uh, that means if there's less foot traffic, it's probably uh, less people coming by to work. And um, yeah, today's Friday. We're gonna go out to eat with my coworkers. Uh, don't know what that is yet. 
um, but I believe it's going to be a budget eat since uh, we are going out to a fancy restaurant in the Hollywood Hills for my co-worker's birthday on Sunday. Um, so I'll get some footage of that. It should be a pretty good experience. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much the recap of my morning. I will see you guys all at lunch. Peace. On Fridays, we go out to eat. We hit up Pokey Bomb in Rosemead, California, and damn, their portions are great for the price. I got a three serving bowl which costs a little bit over $13, but the workers there stack it fat. Remember my chicken friend from last week? Well, this is him now. Poor little guy. Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. I took the day off Saturday and decided to deep dive into my vlogs. I spent most of the day editing some of the vlogs back in February. With the remainders of my chicken friend, my mom cooked up a pot of chicken pho. No restaurant out there could beat my mom's broth. Sunday, March 24th, 2024. It was my co-worker's birthday, so we went to Yamashiro, a Japanese cuisine out in the Hollywood Hills. But first, we stopped for some coffee at the little cafe before the restaurant. This place served me the worst $8 latte I've ever had. I ended up chugging it just for the caffeine. Despite that, the views at the restaurant were amazing on this semi-sunny cloudy day. The location looks like a historic Japanese castle filled with greenery and vibrant trees, contrasting with the dark exterior of the building. At the time we went, they were only serving brunch, so I got the crispy rice eggs benedict. The food was mediocre, and I don't think it was worth the price, but what lacked in taste made up for an experience. After that, we walked around Little Tokyo and decided to grab dinner at one of the restaurants there. The chicken katsu bento box I ordered was massive. Once I got home, I hung out with my nephew and let him play some of the arcade games on my computer. What do you want the enemies to do? Oh look, 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 look. Press the yellow one. You're smacking them? Huh? You're smacking them? Yeah. Thank you for sticking around and watching till the end. I appreciate you and holla at you later.